What's up with it, YouTube? Dude995 Night Night with you once again, and as I promised in my last review, this is the final review for the spring 2017 season. Uh, we looked at Spiked Lemonade last time. Go check that out. It's on my channel if you want to see that. And trust me, you will because that flavor is excellent. And you get to see my full breakdown of that. But there's one more Mountain Dew Spiked Lemonade flavor. This one's Raspberry Lemonade. And just like the last one, it has Prickly Pear Cactus Juice. Take a good look at that can, that sexy can right there. The black and red really stand out quite well. And once again, just uh, for the people who didn't see that last video, uh, this one is a non-alcoholic, even though it says spiked, you know, we all got our hopes up, but not, I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, we have raspberry lemonade flavored dew from Concentrate with other natural flavors. And with the current trend of Mountain Dew flavors, the 16 ounce cans are only 140 calories, they contain far less sugar, and sometimes they have natural sweeteners in the case of the lemonade flavors, and they have the cactus juice as well, and the others have sucralose. Now, this one, as far as I can tell, now I didn't take a close look at the label, it does not have sucralose, which is becoming fairly common in the Mountain Dews that are coming out. Uh, pitch Black, when it came out, they didn't try to reintroduce it as a fewer calorie, you know, less sugar version, but when they did that with Game Fuel, it had less sugar and an artificial sweetener in it. And it worked okay, but I don't want that to be the case for all flavors. But that's enough rambling on that, because even with the reduced calories, the lemonade flavor was excellent. Now I'm hoping the raspberry flavor will follow suit, so let's break out a glass and take a look at this bad boy before we dig in. I want to give you a nice sense of the color. I'm so glad I did not spill that because I've done that before. Okay, I've got a generous helping right here. Um, it's kind of what you would expect from a pink lemonade type look. It's very, very light pink, almost verging onto a magenta of sorts. So let's get a whiff of it before we go. Hmm. Hard to place, but I mean, I think it's what you would expect from a raspberry lemonade. So, let's go for it. Hmm. So, with the lemonade flavor, just the plain lemonade, it had a very understated sweetness to it, and it didn't have a lot of tart to it that you would expect from a lemonade, and that's why it was so nice. This one has the tart that you would expect, but it's not coming from the lemonade itself, it's coming from the raspberry flavor that's been added to it. But the, com like, uh, the flavors complement themselves very well. There's not one part that stands out and there's just a hint of the other. They blend very nicely in an equal fashion. And with this one, I've only taken a few sips of it, of course, but I'm not sensing the... Uh, prickly pear cactus juice in it. I'm not getting any pear flavor whatsoever. Yeah, and maybe it's in there, but honestly it doesn't even need to be unless it's just something that you wouldn't have this flavor without because this works very, very nicely. Um, I would prefer the plain lemonade even though most Mountain Dews that are berry flavored, I do quite like the, the smoothness and the sweetness of the plain lemonade flavor, in my opinion, is superior to this. But I do like this. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just preference, honestly. So I would like to know, for those of you who have had the opportunity to try both, which do you prefer? You know my opinion, so uh, in the comments, just let me know and uh, see if we can get a little bit of a discussion going. So uh, that concludes this review. Definitely think this flavor is worth checking out. It's, even though I'm not a big lemonade fan, it works quite well. And I think that 
you'd be selling yourself short to not go out and try this at least once. So as I said, once you try it, do comment, like this video, get it out there, let the people know because they deserve to know, and subscribe to this channel because even though there's no new dues on the immediate horizon at the moment, I'm sure there'll be something very soon for a summer promotion, and hopefully it will be fantastic, and I hope to see you all there. And in the meantime, there will be some more content in the other focus areas of the channel. Uh, hopefully a Halo video or two, some more Melee, and maybe I'll finally get around to that last Marvel Hornets analysis and the ECFA stuff, if I feel so inclined. But thanks to everyone who's stay tuned this far, and I hope to bring you many, many more great videos for this channel in this year. So. I'm signing off for now, and as always, do the do.